What's going on with you? I hear you had a problem. One of the questions he asked her was, well, what do you want done with her? And she's like, just put her in a chopper, like one of those lumberjack chopper things. And that's the first thing that comes out of her mouth. It's not hurt her, it's not, you know, injure her. It is throw her in a wood chopper. <laughs> I don't carry a lumberjack chopper. But... No, I'm just kidding. Like, that's how much I hate her, though. Um, I don't know. Whatever you... You want me to just walk up and cap her? I don't know. I don't know. Like, we were kind of thinking of, like, a home invasion gone wrong. In minutes, Tara is handing over every piece of information a hitman might need. And if her target's husband got in the way? I want him to go to. I really don't mind. I mean, it's your brand. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Once the deal is done, there's no second guessing, no moment of hesitation. Instead, this is Tara's reaction to believing the mother of her stepchildren and whoever else might get in the way are about to be murdered. I'm going to be so excited. I just can't even tell you. I'm so happy about you. <laughs> that was the final nail in the coffin. Uh, when she brought the money, she brought the picture, she had the address, and in her demeanor. I mean, all you have to do is watch the video. All right, sound good. Okay. Very, very good. You demand. All right, girl. I really appreciate this. All right. Am I really, like, arrested? Yes, you're under arrest. Oh, my God. At first, Tara tries to deny even having a major problem with Kelly. We were best friends. Really? For, like, OK, not best friends, but we were really good friends. You know, I'm asking these questions because it's my understanding that you dislike her very much. During the interview, she did indicate that, yes, I wanted to have somebody hurt. Like, I just want to beat her face. But she did not indicate that she wanted somebody killed. To have Kelly killed? My stepdaughter's mother? Yes. No. But Tara's own words said otherwise. OK. Is it possible to make it look like an accident? Those phone calls that, that you talked to her about was recorded. What? Yes, they are recorded. And it's you that wanted to have her killed. I'm going to, like, having an orgasm in my car just thinking about it. You did talk about having her killed, right? No, I mean, it came up, but I don't want her dead. It came up, yes. You indicated that you hated her in the conversations. I don't, though. I hate her. <laughs> That's how much I hate her. <laughs> I've never hated someone this bad. I don't, though. You don't mean that now. You mean I don't hate her. After nearly an hour of going around in circles, Detective Emmerich asks one of the most crucial questions. Why? Explain to me why, so I can understand why you would want to have her killed. No, no. I want her to stop, stop harassing us. She indicated that it was over visitation with the girls, going to court over that visitation, and the modifications, and that uh, she had spent a lot of money going back and forth to court. She never did accept the responsibility for what she actually did. Still, even without an actual confession. Well, I guess the, the, the tapes will speak for themselves. Prosecutors felt they had more than enough to go to trial.